So the any percent unrestricted speedrun of Star Wars Jedi Survivor is is insane. It has some of the craziest, weirdest, wackiest, most insane, like mind-numbing glitches you've ever seen. But the actual world record is 20 seconds faster than the video you're I'm currently watching. Now, why is this? You may be asking. The answer for this is is because the actual world record is held by a guy named GT from China. Now, the game guy whose footage we're watching <laughs> is watching the game awards. He's broken out of his handcuffs when you're supposed to be in a walking sequence for the first five minutes of this game. This is all completely fine, by the way. We're going to get to that in a second. Um, <laughs> literally, this speed run is by the game guide. Now, GT, his, react, his, his world record is 20 seconds faster than this run. So it's about the same run, 20 seconds faster. The only problem is he uploaded on a site that is entirely in Chinese. And if you don't make an account and pay for the higher tier, you cannot watch it in more than 180p. Yeah, I'm kidding you. I kid you not. It looks like there are 12 pixels on the screen when you watch this guy's speedrun. What? Okay, the, the robot that was with him at the beginning just teleported. He's now inside the wall. I'm now inside of Cal's face. No, this is this is totally fine, by the way. Okay, a little zoom out. And there he goes. <laughs> what is this? Dog, we are literally one minute into this run and this man has completely annihilated. This is something you don't get to see very much into the current day and age. Of course, yes. That Now they're all there. Makes perfect sense. This is something you don't get to see in the current day and age of games is games just being absolutely like bent in half and broken, especially in one of the largest Star Wars offerings in terms of just linear progression. This is one of the biggest games ever. Usually these games are extremely... Do you know if someone says they don't like Raid Shadow Legends, this is what they look like. They're they're just straight up a liar. Oh, thank God, that was scary. But the thing is that Raid Shadow Legends is not scary. It's in fact, one of the most fun games you can download for your phone right now. Raid has been going for over four years and it has stacked up some insane statistics. Let's start from the bottom and go to the top. There are two places to play. You can play on mobile or desktop. There are 15 factions, lizardmen, orcs, dwarves, undead, elves, everything that you could possibly think of. Raid's got a faction just for you and your play style. There are 700 unique champions. So if, if 15 factions wasn't enough, within those factions contain over 700 hundred plus characters and counting they're releasing new ones all the time and on top of that they were putting out regular updates all the time so this absolutely stacked list is always expanding it's crazy if you're a new player and you've heard enough you can download the game right now and get your hands on stag knight one of the best epic champions around as well as a skin for him designed by john tron it's as easy as using the promo code jt skin before october 7th and if you're not a new player you can still get this skin and the stag knight through an in-game event and on the opposite end, if you're a seasoned player and you're ready for more in-game content, Hydra Clash is the new clan-based competition where you face off against other clans to see who can hit the Hydra the hardest, and there's sweet rewards on the way for you too. With all of this exciting stuff already in the game and more coming, if you're not playing, listen to me, what are you doing? Use the link in the description or scan my QR code to get insane bonuses. We're talking Epic Champion Talia, Energy Refills, Skill Tome, XP Boosters. Seriously, come join me in game right now. It's so much fun. Link in the description. Thank you so much to them for sponsoring today's video. Dude, every single time I see that nose, it just, it, it truly disturbs me. It's like, it's one of those things that cannot be unseen, truly. All right. Well, it's, it's crazy to say that we're like literally already like a tenth of the way through this speed run almost, but we literally are like, that's fine. And there we go. This is the little tutorial on how you learn the force. Also the animations in this game. Beautiful, beautiful. The only issue that I had with this game personally, Okay, very clearly there is an ideal combo for killing these guys. Okay, yep. <laughs> these poor stormtroopers literally, oh my God, he just white. That's, this is like really what an actual Jedi would look like. Sometimes when I see in video games, Jedi struggling with like two stormtroopers, I, I get I get a little worried that the Jedi like power fantasy is, is gone. Also, this is just completely like side topic, but I've been watching Ahsoka and I cannot begin to tell you guys how much more exciting Star Wars is and like better Star Wars is in general when they focus on Jedi. What in the gigantic leap was that, bro? Dude, when Star Wars focuses on Jedi and Jedi things and the Force, it just feels so much. He is watching the Game Awards while he is playing. 
He's literally tapping out. You can see him watching a stream at the same time. That's so incredible, dude. I literally read the description of this. And by the way, again, both the runners, both, uh, both the OG... Is it part of the glitches to tab out and like ruin your game's frame rate? It is. Dude, this, I, I was thinking he was just like really, really invested in what they were talking about. Can, dude, can, can we just get a, oh my God. I like how his split for this, his split for that was called woohoo, by the way. Come on. That way is blocked. Brother, you just jumped through 18 different solid objects. He also just got some XP for some kill that he got in his in his journeys there dude i i something about newer games having ways that like they work but they're also just mega broken is so satisfying dude that's what it is You're, he's literally using the frames that the game is loading in and out of to glitch through that barrier he's already to the end this is like past the entire tutorial area okay you got a jetpack use it all right up up and away Ride the boyo all the way down. There it is. Dude, it, it, it's crazy how, how much of this speed run is just gonna end up being the very, very first mission. And then it, out from there on out, it's just absolute breakage. He makes the movement look really, really clean too. Okay, well, aside from when he's... <laughs> Why do you have to do that at that moment? Okay. Pulled out by the big assassin robot. They did, they did a great job of these robots actually looking really, really cool. Okay. I don't know if he's playing on... He's probably playing... He's got to be playing on really, really easy mode, right? It's literally any percent, so it's whatever would make the game fastest. I'm really excited because I actually don't know what the glitch is going to be that allows him to get to the actual end game so quickly. The tab out and tab back in is a crazy crazy way to do this game man oh okay he lands nicely he's inside the pipe okay he's not even gonna hit the meditation he knows he's good he knows he's good the ship is still down over there right yeah this is just him getting to the ship Okay, and then these force fields. So these force fields, and it seems like some walls are small enough that you can use load, like your momentum frames and your load frames to get through. Okay, he's in the wall riding the elevator down. Dude, you know what this reminds me of is Portal. I don't know why. If you guys haven't seen my Portal 2 speedrun and Portal 1 for that matter, speedrun reaction, it really, really reminds me of that where he's like using the in between parts of walls to do glitches and stuff. It's so literally one of my favorite things about speedrunning is seeing all of the insane, insane variety of ways that people just decide that they don't they don't want to play these games the way the developers want them to play them. Okay. <laughs> this was one thing, even though even though I ended up getting really so the I I never ended up finishing this game because I ended up getting really really frustrated with all of the glitches that I was getting in the very beginning. I, I had glitches where I wasn't able to use any of my lightsaber abilities or stances and everything like that, and then I got really busy with other games, so I never went back and, and beat it. But I I played the crap out of the first one. I I think I almost hundred percent of the first one. I think I, I ended up getting to like ninety percent or something like that on the first one. Literally such a good game, man. So it, it's always it's always a treat to see how they break these games. <laughs> I mean, it's a great way to to keep up with what's going on at the same time. All right, it's down here. I don't remember this from the first level. Maybe it's just because it's so out of order that I can't even remember. Is the first level possibly also the last level? No, there's no way these guys won't be spawned in. Okay, hack it up, BD. Yeah, no, 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 this is still first level. This is still first level, 100%. Hundo P. Also, if you did play this game and you didn't use the mullet, you you are banned from my chat room. Like, you, you, 
it was it was a requirement that everyone used the mullet. Did he use that glitch to get up on that edge too? It seemed like it. Okay, that's definitely not the intended way to do that. That's fine. Okay. Hangers close. Hangers close. Noah J viewers are, are laughing so hard right now. Glitches through the wall. I wonder what the name of this glitch is called. The tab load? Tab tab no clip? No no tab? Tab a port? Alt clip? Alt clip is a pretty good one. I actually like alt clip. I can't fight anymore. <laughs> it's really funny seeing them getting yeeted out. Dang, the range on that force push is really high, and they just die from fall damage too. And I know the jump attacks are like the fastest animation. Oh, he actually. <laughs> really satisfying he actually is losing time on this split by the way this has somehow been slower all right so this is towards the end of the level okay cutscene skip out of there hyperspace also god bless games that let you skip the cutscenes on the first run through even if it's like two extra buttons to like confirm you yeah, really want to skip, agrees. dude, it makes running through these games again so much better. When you have to sit and watch the same 20 minute intro cinematic, if you start a brand new game of Zelda, you're watching cutscenes for like the first 10 minutes. We're almost there. Let's head up to the cockpit. So it forces you to learn your little lightsaber tricks. And he is over a third of the way done through the entire game after the tutorial mission. I feel like this, this is gonna be where things start to get like really wacko mode. <laughs> <laughs> like actually crazy the escape all right how much how much do you actually have to do on this planet because obviously there's going to be a point where he just skips through like 99 percent of the game content that the game has to offer also beat if he does indeed have to beat the final boss like beating the final boss is got to be kind of i mean if it's not easy that's one thing but it's got to be kind of difficult like even because you have no upgrades that you would have been obtaining throughout the entire run through but there's no way it could be harder than the two frogs bro come on and this won't repair itself okay so if greece has the parts we need let's go there's absolutely no oh Okay, glitches through the rock, falls down to the bottom. This glitch is obviously mega, mega powerful. Also, random creature in the back. That's that. This, this glitch is mega, mega powerful. But if your character falls for more than like a point one second, then you just die. That's just how it happens every time because the the fall, the like maximum fall range is really low. Like, I was not landing many times when I thought I should, like, be safe in landing. Dude, this glitch looks... He's, he's, miss he's missing the second part of this glitch, which is obviously super precise in some way. He's doing an interact with that, and he does a jump, and then glitches through the... So that looks like the same glitch that he did a little bit ago, but just a uh, mega upgraded. Also, is this terrain even like low? This train is still loading in. His game doesn't even know what kind of textures that are sh he should have had loaded yet. Okay, there's some loading. Okay. Obviously, the ideal movement is doing this little dash out, out over here, over and over. Hunters, herds. All coexisting without the interference of the Empire or Jedi. Oh, he's kind of spitting, Cal. Really? See, like that? I'm super surprised he survived that. Like those jumps have got to be so precise, so he doesn't get the like, "You fell off. You have to reset" animation. Because that screen going black means you're about to hit that zone, and it's so short. Like that's not even a high jump for a Jedi. What? One of my few complaints about this game. Be good to see Grease again. It's been a long time. 
Does he just take off? Seer stuck in the past. He's literally almost halfway. Ancient history. Woo. BD is best droid companion, like maybe ever though. I love BD. He's got more personality and one woo than most of the like funny droids do in their entire lifetimes. Does he just skip Grease? That. Okay. Or is he like pre progressing the story? <laughs> I love the, the droids. Yeah, he definitely skipped the town. So is he just skipping straight to where the part is and getting it first? If that's possible, this game is way more like quote unquote open world than I thought. I love games where like there's an option of you go and pre-collect the thing and then you get a quest and it's like, oh, yada, 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 my sister is trapped and I need to find her amulet. And then you find the amulet. Glitches straight through the wall there. And then you're like, oh, here's the amulet right here. And you just get the quest completion already. It's really satisfying. I love games like that. You catch that too, BD? We're not alone out here. Oh, that was on purpose. I was like, seems like he missed time that a little bit, but that was 100% on purpose because you're originally supposed to go up on the rock, then push, push that rock out of the way, then do the zip line. He's like, no, I'm just going to take the fall damage and like have it ready to go. Only one way to find out. Empire. Empire. I don't think they saw us. Let's move. I'm so I'm so confused if this is like the area that the last thing you need to do is just get the ship repaired and then you can go somehow glitch to the final boss to the game completion I really want to see more combat though hit the combat when you know every aspect of this game and then also like you just know the spawns and everything is really satisfying to watch were shooting at spy droid Someone else has eyes out here. Maybe the Raiders. Is he gonna fight the big boy? Go. I, I like how his lightsaber is just flailing constantly. He's taking very specific paths. I think it's to avoid the like dusty, the dust mite looking boys. That was clean. That was so clean. That was so much faster than the normal path. Parkour in this game is pretty satisfying. I'd say. So this is the work of Santari Kree. If the rest of the Z story is true, the key to Tantalor should be around here somewhere. Oh, didn't get the, didn't get it on the first attempt. Nice, there we go. Anticipation. The anticipation is building. It's so it's so like nice just watching him progress around. I can't wait to see what the actual end goal is. Does he write the big burb? Around the array are pretty riled up. Could be the dust in the air. Imperial patrols probably don't help either. Go get. I think that's the mullet. No, I'm just kidding. <laughs> that is a cosmetic over there. I don't think it was the mullet. One reflection. Oh my god, he almost just got a full level up off of accidentally reflecting one bullet that was shot at him because he's supposed to be a high, way higher level by, by this point or have way more points. <laughs> Look at that! Literally one! It would be cool if there was like, if this, if the parkour was way more Jediified where you're doing like crazier jumps like that the whole time. Careful, BD. Situations. <laughs> okay, quick, 
quick seer shout out. That was like 18 different load screens at once. This isn't the time to fight. Okay. We got the the Relter Tames. So did, I think he came, it seems kind of like he came over here. That's not what you're supposed to do with that. <laughs> or maybe it is, I don't know. <laughs> that was way too clean for it to be what, you, what you're not supposed to do. Was all of that for the, the tutorial? He just has to get that tutorial. Gross, gross stuff speed run any percent? Just found her. Take it out of here. Easy. Because he just got the animal training. He didn't actually get the objectives that you usually. When you usually go here, you have like objectives. But he's just doing the animal training. I wonder if. I wonder if the animals are part of the glitches that he uses. Because he beats the game, in like less than ten minutes. Whoop! Oh good dude. <laughs> so good. Clear that gate with a little boost from her new friend. Yeah. <laughs> Alright, well we need we need names for all these glitches. Get on it, chat. We've got we've got the alt tab no clip. We got the alt tab super jump. Jesus, dude, it's so it's so high! Got some more unloaded textures here. The game is struggling to understand how this is possible. Looks like the mantis is back in action. Come on, BD. Let's meet him at the landing pad. How is the mantis back in action? He never went to go talk to Grease. That's just a like hard trigger event that doesn't pre-check if you've done any other they things, like did. talking to him. Push us through the wall on the dismount. Which is it to Jedi Grandmaster on the difficulty level? this dev code this is dev code this is like cutscene placeholder it's developmental because he hasn't hit the necessary triggers yet to be able to to do this okay he's purposely dying over and over here Dude, this is one of the most interesting speedruns I've ever seen. Oh, so he was actually like, he was actually fully killing himself there. He was getting his health lower and lower so that he actually, when he hits respawn, he actually respawns. Gameplay back to story mode. I, I'm just expecting it to literally take off into the sky right now. Please tell me he travels with the llama looking thing. Please tell me he travels with the llama looking thing. I need, I need for that to happen. <laughs> Legitimately? Oh. Okay. Oh god, he stays he stays on there. Oh. Here we go.
And he's back on ship. He now can travel to Tantalor. Dude, how, how, how is he six minutes from beating the game? Or less than six. It's like what, five minutes from beating the game. <laughs> Duty fulfilled. Uh, I was kind of blocking it. Z volunteers to help the Mantis crew as they prepare to enter. I can definitely work with that. Okay. Meditate on the ship. Okay. He's he's turned on some sort of trigger by doing that. So I'm guessing when he arrives at Tanalore. The night he just got dude, hold on, I need to move. He literally just got a pop-up that said he just met up with uh, the night sister. He hasn't done any of these things. It's just like, pre and then there's Grease. So this is Tenelor. Not what you were when expecting. did Marin get? I don't know what I was expecting. So much has changed since I first heard its name. The temple's this way. Edo Cordova. Future here. And look where it got them. The hidden path. He's he's unlocking all of this lore that he has not Bode seen at all. Let this end peacefully. He has already now, now we already know about Bode. Betrayal and murder. Now we have him cornered with nowhere else to run. He will kill or be killed. <laughs> well, say something. What do you mean? His, his voice line triggers are all the way back. She's not much younger than we were when our families were taken from us. I know. You and I will carry that loss for the rest of our lives. But Kata still has a chance. Yes, she does. <laughs> Very well. We will give Bo the choice to stand down. For Kata's sake. And ours. I keep thinking about something Seer once said. This is amazing. Every Jedi faces the dark side. I feel so much hatred towards Bo. Seer won her battle with the dark side. You will too. Do you hear Dude, I love how you can just like you can just read the entire story of like in front of your eyes right here. All right, boss fight time. And she just appears. My family. And there he is. Reminder: He is playing on story mode, so this is not even though he is not leveled up at all. I'm not gonna really think that this is gonna be the hardest. I will strike from the shadows. Wait, was he rainbow sabering right there? He's kinda clapping this boss fight, I'm not gonna lie. Okay, I, I, I've never watched, like, I knew what happened in the game, but I've never watched the boss fight. Is the Rainbow Saber supposed to be happening? It looks like it's supposed to be happening. Google's on side monitor. Rainbow Light Saber. saber. Jedi, Jedi Survivor. Oh, the Party Lightsaber. <laughs> As he's like literally about to kill Bode right here. Oh, it's an NG plus. <laughs> that's that's pretty that's pretty cool. Okay, that explains why I haven't seen it. That's pretty sick. And skip the cutscenes, dude. He's literally like game over. <laughs> Sorry, I, I googled rainbow lightsaber and the game was over, bro. What an absolute tank of a run. That was so much fun to watch. I feel like I could not know what to expect at any moment. Yeah, he's like, let me screenshot this real quick, bro. <laughs> let me screenshot this timer. I just got world record. Absolutely insane. Please, 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 please. Go subscribe to this man. Go subscribe to the world record holder. Give everyone all the props down below from the description. He's already open up, opening up Discord.
<laughs> he's like, I got to get on and tell the homies. Dude, that was an absolute treat to watch. If you guys have not already, make sure you subscribe. Check out the links in the description. Go support everyone. And uh, let me know what you thought about this run. This was a treat. That was awesome. <laughs>